So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as it if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Cardio Kane Velasquez has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger here. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Kane Ball. All right, Herb Dean, our referee right, right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. Good. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks in his Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From out... Oh, he's back in the guillotine! Oh, somehow, some way, he got out! These guys are back but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. Oh, he escapes. There goes another one. And once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. Now changing up his level. Goes with the elbow to the body. Real good ground and pound here by Kane Velasquez. Big ground and pound. Velasquez is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Great job landing from the top position. And now he's in the guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Velasquez. He's got to be careful here. 
Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. That was a slick transition. He passes the half. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm off. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Velasquez. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Velasquez is right back to the full out here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. That was nice. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Velasquez. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Cain Velasquez. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Velasquez is back in full mount. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. 30 seconds. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another strike gets through from the top position. Right. Round two next. Hey, Scott. Ready. Ready. Round Ready. two is on the way. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit. Right? No lack of effort, but unable to get that submission in the previous round. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic, which allows him to defend with the right frame of mind, and that's why he's never been submitted. Oh, the kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Holy oh, smokes. Oh, nice judo toss for him. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking. 
that pass by the bottom fighter. Massive shot from the top. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount. Oh, he's got his back under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Yep, got to be very careful there. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Oh, big elbow. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Nicely done. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, good ground and pound here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. He's got to start throwing down. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Stay tight, stay tight. Now he's going full mount. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Velasquez is in half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. And very effective with the ground and pound. Side control. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now. Deep. Trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Good round. You're being controlled on the ground here. He gets the takedown. I need you to put your feet on his hips immediately and push off. Don't rest until you're back up on your feet. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Velazquez gets the single leg takedown, well played. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Velazquez is in half court. Making all these shots count. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. You need to work, I'll stand this up. Let's work. Inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, setting up another submission. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. There it is. Yeah, Paige and Alexio let it. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Nice shots landing from the top position. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. He's getting them out here. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Using a lot of good movement. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, Let's perhaps go. it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deep about a minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Great submission defense. There it is, another strike on the ground, gets through. Final seconds of the round. Pretty good head movement, he's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. 
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, All right that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to go out there and get some. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up the training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. The guys go into this normal. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is gonna have a profound impact on him moving forward. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Nice transition. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Kane Velasquez. There it is. Now he's on the mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up now, a lamp, the vicious head strike. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Come on, come on now, you gotta get back to the guard. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. This is where he wants to be. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big round and pound. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Just over two minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Velasquez. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Oh, he got to his spot. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. It's another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah, we got blood all over the broadcast table. It's legit everywhere. It's all over us. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Velasquez is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Oh, 
All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Good work from the top here by Velasquez. He's very accurate in the ground and ball and is showing because he's landing so consistently. 30 seconds to go. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Velasquez. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to get at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You don't protect yourself. Somebody's going to stop him. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking game. I mean, he's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, big right. Oh, nice body shot. from that cut with each strike landed and he continued. Oh, nice ankle pad. Great timing, better execution. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defenseman. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Really starting to bleed profusely out of that eye. It's not looking good, champ. Well, it's leaking down his face. The guy's been beat up and now this cut has become a real issue. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, great oh, submission oh, defense. Oh, oh. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velasquez. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Right hook there by the champ. Oh, shades of the godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. He passes to half guard. Velasquez ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. Because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mop, the blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about the entirety of the face being covered from the cut. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to get through this. Ground and pound strike there now. Great defense by the defensive fighter. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Velasquez ground and pound from half guard now. Keep those hips active until you're back in Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. 
Moving his head here on the ground, Chan. I mean, this... He's having his way with him here. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Velasquez. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Nice positional control here. Buster's up now and lands a vicious head strike. He Mata needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kane Velasquez. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can yeah. stop it. Somebody yeah. needs to do something because this fight is over. Try to establish that jab. Oh, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should, right? He sees the blood poured into his... Guillotine jump! Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he covers the quick job by the champ there. Flying back up. Cards, one of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47 at the last cans. Judge two scores it, 7-47. And judge three scores it, 7-47. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a majority draw. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.